Hey there guys, recently on the Global Livestream, they confirmed that at some point in the future, Global is going to be getting the way to run things like old crown fights, old ability upgrade fights, stuff like that. So I figured just for fun, we'll pop over to the JP server and I will give you a preview of what that system kind of looks like from the JP side. So you can know what to expect when it eventually cl comes to Global. So I've turned on my little cursor so you can follow along with the little mouse pointer. But um, so in the vortex, you'll see at the top right corner, there's this little gate. Um, I'm not sure what Global is going to call this area officially. Some players call it the vortex of memories. I'm told that the Japanese server can call it the, cham the chamber of seals. Um, but basically, this is going to be an area with four different tabs that allows you to run old events. So the first tab is permanent story events that have been added for you to rerun. Um, JP has only added two of them, the Regina story event and, <clears throat> and the Folan story event. Um, now you know we've had many, many, many more story events over time. I'm not entirely sure why there's only two of them here, but there's those two. The second tab is for units that you might have missed that were free, so all their enhancement stuffs. So remember Reno, Sonan, Fran, um, Kelger, Sisney, Cater, Golden Riser, and then Sid Reigns. Now obviously some of these have not arrived on Global yet. For example, we haven't gotten Cater or Sid Reigns on Global. We'll be getting them in the future. But this is where you can go and you can run these and you can do all eight of their stages. Um, you know, if you didn't do the quest before, you can do them. You can rerun level eight to get fragments, stuff like that. Also, you'll notice the energy cost for all of these dungeons is zero energy. On the other hand, at the top right corner of the screen, where I'm pointing with the mouse, these are keys. Um, they give you lots of these from login rewards. That's the only source of them is from login rewards, and you just get tons of them. To run these dungeons, each run of the dungeon consumes a key. So instead of energy, you're paying a key to run the old dungeon. Now each of the tabs uses its own key. So the story events, as you can see here, like the Regina story event, if you wanted to go through here and do all these, zero energy, but every single run of the event will take you one of these keys. I've got 155 story keys. I've got 530 of the, uh, the free unit keys. Um, obviously because these you have to run lots of times. You've got to run the final stage like you know, 20 or 30 times to get an, get an EX3 unit. So they give you a whole bunch more of those keys. <laughs> now the third tab is for equipment equipment stages. Um, so from the bottom, I can show you it's uh, Scarlet Reigns, or Flaring Reigns, Offhand Sword, Shantoto's Boots, um, Angeal's Longsword, Genesis's Cape, uh, Sephiroth's Katana, Saul's Rod, Reagan's Cloak, and then these these we haven't gotten on Global yet. Um, I think this is Deuce's shirt and Ace's shirt. This is Snovlinka's crown. I think this is Ico's bracer, Queena's uh, chest piece. Um, I think this is Hope's scarf, Saz's gun. I could be wrong here. And then Lightning's um, chest piece. And this is again uh, these because you know you, these only have three stages a piece. You get less of these keys, obviously. So it's, I currently have 53 of the equipment keys. Um, but yeah, you know, so all of this gear that has exclusive passives for units, and some of these are obviously very important for the unit. For example, Flaring Rain's offhand is his best in slot, and if you missed that, you know, Flaring Rain is a lot weaker than he would be if you did have his offhand. Same thing for, like, you know, Sephiroth's katana. Even though the Dark Vision's katana is technically better, it's still a really big deal for Sephiroth, stuff like that. So like, some of these are really, really good for the unit. So, again, this is all permanent, and as you can see here, I have not even done all of them. This one, the Type 0 event, um, I, I skipped level 3 because, you know, this one is locked to Type 0 units, and my Type 0 units at the time were terrible. Since then, I have off banner the new Neo Visions Ace, so I probably could clear this at this point. Um, I just haven't gone back and done it yet because, whatever, at some point I will. But anyway, there it is. You know, you can see that the gear events are permanent and then the one everyone cares about is the silver crown fights and this this is also where you get 
your um, ability upgrades. For example, let's pop directly to uh, Dark Reigns, one of the big ones. It's like Dark Reigns, so if you missed... Um, come on, game, load it up. If you missed Dark Reigns, you know, uh, 150 Amplify, this is where you would go back and get it in the, from the past uh, stuff. So... I currently have 85 of the silver crown keys, and just you know, I'll, I'll show you what we have. Going from the bottom, um, Terra, Original Rain, Reno. These are all silver crowns. Sephiroth, and again, this is you know the uh, units that got an ability upgrade are also included here. You know, Sephiroth's uh, 150 Amplify. Uh, let's continue going through the list real quick. Sephiroth, Blue Fina, Emperor Vlad, Dark Rain, Rain and Fina. Dark Fina and Saul, Knights of Grandchild, Athmaw, Rufus, Starlight, Elena did get crowned in JP. Um, Red Mage, Ingus, and I think I think Starlight, Elena, or Rufus is the last one that Global got currently, and the rest of these Global will be getting in the future, I hope. Um, Starlight, Elena, Red Mage, Ingus, Tulian, Tyvus, Ricard, and Weaverin. And as you can see, some of these I have not done because some of these are locked to really obnoxious restrictions like the Ricard is like Final Fantasy 2 only give me a break really Final Fantasy 2 only I didn't do it um, at some point I'll go back and do it but no <laughs> no it's it's ridiculous um, same thing for Emperor I didn't do his Garnet I didn't do hers because my Final Fantasy 9 units are straight garbage on the JP server um, but yeah you know but that, that's the cool thing that's the cool thing is they're permanent and when someday I really decide to go back and get the final crown for Garnet or Dagger, you know, I can do it at my own leisure. So when I eventually someday off-banner the brand new, you know, 500 liter Zidane, I can go back and do this quest. But until then, it's just, you know, it's, it's here waiting for me, which is awesome. And then we've got uh, Remake Cloud Crowns, crowns for all of the Season 4 people, uh, Mazurka, Coralie, um... Diverti and Milo, and this one's, this one's kind of strange. It is still only four stages, you know, one, two, three, four, but each of the stages give you these special currencies, 40 from level four, uh, 40 from level four, 20 from level two, or three, etc. And you exchange them for this special shop right here. I'll just br briefly show, show you the way they, they did it in JP. Um, and these are all the crowns for the Season 4 people. If you clear all four of the levels, you'll get enough to buy out the entire shop. Or if you want to, you can trade them for gold crowns, etc. You know, the usual stuff. But, you know, even though it's four different units being crowned, you get all of their crowns from doing the four stages. Uh, Warrior's Prairie, Dark Fina, Cyan, and then Savior Lightning got crowns. But anyway, that's how it works. So you get these keys, all four of the keys, from login rewards in the JP server. Um... You just, you just get a bunch of them as you go. Uh, story events, free units, gear, crowns, and abilities. And yeah, so you just run that, run that as you want. So Global did say we're going to be getting either this as is or a version of this. So you will be able to go back and get things like um, uh, Sephiroth's. You know, you know what I'm, you know what I'm noticing here. You know, you know who's not. Who is not offered here is Tifa. Avalanche Tifa. Why is Avalanche Tifa not not offered as a free as, as a permanent mate just out of curiosity? I'm, I, now I'm curious. Maybe she's currently being rerun for free. Um just out of curiosity. Is Avalanche Tifa Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh my god, there's a bunch of them. Okay, there, there she is. There she, oh, actually, wow. Okay, so apparently, every now and then JP does... Yeah, I, I knew this. Every now and then JP will rerun a bunch of quests. Um, so currently, I guess... I didn't know this, actually. So I guess while they're being rerun for free, um, they will once again cost energy while they're being rerun for free. Yeah, they cost energy, but they do not cost a key while they're being on a free rerun. Okay, so... Real quick, we'll go over the stuff that I missed. So Tifa, Silver Crowns, um, Renoa's Pinwheel, Renoa's Crowns, Laguna's Crowns. Wow, there's a lot. Um, this is the Final Fantasy VIII event being rerun. Um, oh God, whose necklace is this? Uh, I think this is Quistus's necklace from Final Fantasy VIII. Squall's clothing. 
Adia, the free unit. There's a lot. Oh my god, there's so much. Lena's crowns, Ferris's crowns, Yish's crowns, Faisalus's crowns, Kurosame's crowns, Reagan, the free unit, uh, the Shiva Lastwell sword, Return Fina's crowns, Titus's crowns, my god. Lastwell and Reagan's crowns, <laughs> Yuna's crowns, Rydia's crowns, Onion's crowns, Furion's crowns, Merilus crowns, uh, Tyvus's necklace, I think. I did not farm Onion stuff because no. Adamus Roca's rod, Tyvus's rod, the Esper Tyvus. Um, I think this is Maria's clothing, and there. Okay, so there is a whole lot of stuff for permanent gear and crowns and all that. So now I think I've gone through the entire list, but my god, there's a bunch. But I, I, I learned something today. I didn't even realize that when they're rerun for free, they don't cost keys anymore. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, there was a quick preview just to show you some stuff. Um, hope it helps. Hope it comes to Global very soon. See you then.